What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Dirky Chan. Today, I'm gonna do a quick review of Prada Amber Pour Homme, guys. Guys, you know I love Prada. I love their soapy clean fragrances. I love their everyday type of vibe fragrances. They're a house brand that just makes fragrances that smell good, that are safe, and that are quite affordable. Now, Amber Pour Homme is a definite, definite Prada fragrance, but it reminds me of a old school Prada fragrance. This one was released in 2006, so it's definitely not the most modern Prada fragrances. If you want a modern Prada fragrance, go for the Luna Rosa line or the original Lom line or, or just the Lom line. In my opinion, Luna Rosa line is a bit more modern than the Lom line, but they still, still are fantastic fragrances to rock in 2021. Now as for Prada Amber Perome, I'm a bit disappointed in this fragrance in the current day. I'm pretty sure back in 2006, it was a banger, but for me currently in 2021, this is not my favorite Prada fragrance, but it could be your favorite Prada fragrance. So don't be deterred by my opening remarks. All right, so guys, Let's dive right into this. So price 100 ml, it's gonna cost you about $60 on third party online sites. I bought this off uh, your typical fragrance third party site. This one's a warm spicy scent with amber and has woods, has citruses and is aromatic. Now to me, when I smell this fragrance, I get a lot of neroli in the opening, a lot of saffron a hint of vanilla, a hint of leather, a lot of musk, and a lot of this kind of rustic vibe. It does smell clean, it does smell soapy all throughout the fragrance. It smells fresh in the opening, but then it quickly dies down and you get a lot of musk and you get vanilla, you get saffron. It's still a very smooth smelling fragrance, but to me it smells very, very, how do I say? It smells very sophisticated for someone in my age, okay? So this scent, it's spicy, but it's very, very soapy smelling, guys. And this is fantastic for the older, older gentlemen because it's so darn sophisticated. You have to be like this three-piece suit kind of guy to, to really rock this fragrance. It has a sophistication about it that I don't feel comfortable wearing it with a t-shirt and jeans. Maybe that's just me, but to me, this fragrance is extremely sophisticated. It's elegant, it's beautiful, but again, it's for mature men. It just gives off that very, very grown-up type vibe, guys. It. That's why I'm kind of deterred away from this fragrance. I'm still a bit young, so I don't really gravitate towards uh, this scent. But if you're an older gentleman and you want something classy, clean, sophisticated that elevates you to the next level, then yes, this fragrance is for you. It definitely has that Prada soapiness. To me, it smells like soap that you get in grade school, like that pink soap in grade school. That's what this reminds me of. And it just smells like that. Some people say it smells like soap from a hotel. I definitely get that slightly powdery, slightly smells like shaving cream, smells like a clean bathroom kind of vibe. When you go to a nice restaurant or a nice hotel, guys, it it's soapy, soapy clean. So if you're a sophisticated gentleman, you want to smell soapy clean, rock this one as a all day kind of fragrance, but that's where this fragrance stops for me. It's, it's an all day kind of fragrance, but I wouldn't rock this to the club. I wouldn't rock this on a date. This is just purely for me, a daytime fragrance. But because I'm a bit of a younger guy in my mind, I have a bunch of other fragrances that are more better suited for my age range. So I am staying away from this fragrance until I get a little bit older, all right? So I'm not saying this fragrance is bad. It still smells expensive. It still smells luxurious. It still smells perfumey, right? But it's, it's for mature men only, I believe. It, it just has that 
that like dated gray beard CEO kind of vibe, three piece suit kind of fragrance. It's soapy elegance, but again, would you want to smell that as a younger guy? Possibly not. As a younger guy, you want something like a Dylan Blue or a Dorsa Sauvage or a Versace Eros. You want a fragrance that's fun, elegant, vibrant. And that's not Prada Amor Pro Homme. Prada Amor Pro Homme is elegance, it's sophistication, it's soapy, powdery, fresh, it's soothing, luxuriness. It's one of the fragrances that, again, high class soap kind of smell. Smells like a well put together guy, but a very mature, and I cannot emphasize this enough. This is a mature, mature, mature fragrance, guys. So, if you're looking for that, this one will be it. It smells like a a, a, a very put together father. It smells like a very put together grandfather. A very well respected uh, gentleman in your family. Okay, guys. So. In terms of longevity, this one, <laughs> undefeated longevity, guys. I spritzed this in my room on my linens in the last two to three days on linens, on clothes, but on skin. Again, you get a fantastic six to eight hours of longevity. Amazing, two hours of oh, crazy projection. And it, again, it just smells like a fresh and clean hotel soap kind of vibe, guys. So again, if I were to describe this fragrance, it's it's a very very well groomed person, right? Very mature, very put together. Somebody who was probably a CEO in their lifetime. Just smells like somebody from the nineties type of vibe. It's very 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 old school and i love that about this fragrance it's a good old school masculine fragrance now if you're a teenager again they're definitely better fragrances for a teenager to pick if you're a college student again there are better fragrances to pick if you're a young adult there's definitely better fragrances to pick but but if you're a gentleman in the 40s in the 50s in the 60s you know you've reached that peak masculine uh, journey then this fragrance would complement you very very well it has a very very sophisticated clean vibe it's not shouting for attention it's not in anybody's face it's cool calm collected so that's my quick review of Prada Amor Pro Rome. again again this is a mature to me a mature uh, men fragrance only if you're a teenager definitely get your nose on it but I would recommend something like a Versace Dylan Blue or a Der Sauvage. So that's all I have, guys. Peace. Like, comment, and subscribe. Holla back at your boy, Dirky Chan, for some more reviews. Ciao.